नमस्ते आई सिमरन कौशल वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस विद ओनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सीजन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट्स दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड अ यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्पर एंड स्किल्स साइंस विच इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस and technology to the discussion of the previous year questions and potential concepts which are important from the perspective of competitive exams let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to introduce to a science expert dr tv venkateshwaran who is here with us to answer the questions Dr. Devi Venkateshwaran is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, the first question for today is Yeah, so uh today in uh, internet computers uh, information technology we talk of grid computing and cloud computing what are they how are they different so when you uh, are looking at uh, cloud computing it is computing using the internet as a medium okay where the internet is a medium it's a computing using internet as a medium so in a cloud computing we are allowing one computer to benefit from the shared resources and databases of computers connected to a single network like a internet okay you can store all your files data in a remote database instead of being limited with a local hard drive your hard drive may be not only 100 uh, gb but uh, you can store 1000 gb in uh, cloud and then access it whenever that is required so these are all the things about uh, cloud computing so when you are talking about cloud computing uh you uh, have a, a number of things connected to it you have laptop servers desktop tabletop phone any of them can be interlinked they can be the source for accessing it or depositing it so in the cloud computing the computing may be related to application it may be related to platform or it may be related to infrastructure these are the three major uh, services that a cloud computing can provide okay so examples of uh, cloud computing platform when you are talking about uh, platform for example uh, google drive okay or gmail right these are all uh, essentially working on uh, uh, cloud computing because whenever you are putting your photographs in uh, google drive or uh, save your uh, data in uh, google drive it's uh, actually happening in the cloud uh, and uh, you are seamlessly able to access it whenever that you want to use it so examples of uh, uh, infrastructure are uh, microsoft azure or aws okay uh, these are all some of the infrastructure that uh, basically meaning that you are using some other computer having certain uh, uh, let's say capabilities so you are using that infrastructure for your work uh, as long as uh, you are using it okay maybe paid or free but you are using like this then you can also have uh, software as services okay when you have software as services for example office 365 uh you don't download the whole uh, application into your system or cisco webex or google apps okay then uh, you also have uh, platform services okay so you have something like uh, app engine or uh, uh, elastic bean stack you know these are all some of the uh, platform services that uh, are uh, used uh, that are given by the cloud computing so but what is grid computing grid computing is uh, basically a system where one computer usually a server handles the administrative duties for the system so which means that the one of the computers in the uh, network is acting like a administrator so it acts like a administrator it controls every other system okay it gives jobs to each of them collects the jobs back and then the final thing happens in the uh, uh, control system of course then afterwards maybe you can use it in your uh, terminal but that's how uh, grid computing uh, takes place so it's basically a grid that is computer connected so people in different parts of the world can be connected uh, through this grid uh, and then uh, do work 
one of the simplest exam example of this uh, grid computing is uh, online multiplayer games that is you are sitting before your computer you are playing let's say for example chess there is somebody who is uh, let's say 5000 uh, kilometers away in another continent playing chess with you that person is also working with his computer so what is now actually happening is your computer and that person's computer are interlinked uh, through uh, the internet and then uh, other uh, infrastructures in between and uh, you have become a grid okay so grid computing actually works in this particular case then multi level multi player system is also a grid uh, computing so if you look at uh, grid computing and uh, cloud computing uh, in the grid computing you have a decentralized management but whereas in cloud computing you have centralized management in the dependency other computers pick up the work whenever the computer stops it's uh, totally dependent on internet cloud computing is totally dependent on internet internet is shut down that cloud computing cannot work okay operation it uh, operates within a corporate network so it's only uh, when the grid computing is generally only within a trusted uh, network but this is also operate through internet that's why for example you can put your uh, photographs in uh, google drive uh, uh, through internet right so these are all some of the uh, important uh, differences uh, between grid computing and cloud computing